Sorry about that, you guys. I got a call and they cut me off, unfortunately. So anywho, that pattern was amazing to knit and I will be making more of it. Being that it also has multiple sizes, I probably could use their aesthetics to create my own. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe some cables or something, but something that I design myself. So we'll see what happens with that. No time soon. Anywho, next project I have is in my tongue bin knitting bucket. And in here, I finish my fingerless. Guys, the ends are not woven in, but I finished them and I consider them finished objects. I know you have to woven in the ends, but I'm just like Stephen was sometimes when it comes to that part. And these are my fingerless mitts. I bought a pattern in Vogue Knitting Life of some fingerless mitts. I have no clue. Let's see. Okay. Maybe I have a clue now. Okay, let's see. Okay, the pattern is by Foggy View Mitts, Florence Burling Studios. So it's by Florence Burling Studios, and it's called Foggy View Mitts. I started these in March 1st, and I, fin I finished them maybe, I finished them two months ago, you guys. I haven't been podcasting in two months. Can you believe this crap? I really need to stop my shit and get on with this, you know? Anywho, I use 90% Superwash Merino Nylon. And I use the Oink Pigment Socks, 420 yards, 100 grams. In the color Mini, mini Craze, or Mini Grace. Craze or Grace, you know? I use the usual 2.25 millimeter because it's sock yarn. And I also use the 2.75 millimeter 40 inch circulars for the ball tee. And yeah, so we have this here. And this was super quick to knit, you guys. Like, for real, for real, it was super quick to knit. Let me try them on so you guys can see. They fit nice. I have no complaints whatsoever. They really fit nice. Oh, also, I adjusted this part here. I believe that's the only thing I changed about the pattern because I wanted it to be a little more snug here in the thumb. But other than that, everything else is done straight to the pattern. And they're so pretty. You guys, you see that? The pinks and purples. Purple, my favorite color. All love. It's my favorite colors. And here's the other one. So you guys can see. They're both done. See? So the thumb is very snug, which I like it better that way than the way it was. So it's too goosey goosey. See? See this? See this? Ah! That little loose right here. A little bit, but that's okay. Because I have joint problems, so it works. And I still got the stitch marker there. <laughs> yeah, I have it here. And I have it here. So yeah, these are done. I just got to weave in the end. So this is my FO. And I'm going to show you the yarn because I have so much yarn left over, you guys. Look at this. It's a lot. A lot. F-U-T's. So I'm thinking about making another one with that yarn. And maybe give it. And maybe. Yeah, I can't English, you guys. And maybe give the these fingerless as a gift for Christmas to somebody and make mine. So yeah, those are the only two finished objects I have, you guys. In reality, I should have more done, but it's okay. It happens to the most of us. It just happens, you know, we can't do nothing about it. Lord have mercy. I look a mess, you guys, it's okay. I'm a mom, this is what happened. You get the pretty side of me and you also get the mommy side of me. Okay, uh, now we're going to go on to whips because I've been going bananas. 
I have been working on some old projects, but I have cast on a lot of new, a lot of new, new whips. Anyway, so we're gonna go in the order that I have them here. So in this beautiful owl bag, I have been working on. Uh, please tell me I'm gonna drop my stitch. Okay, I'm gonna drop my stitch. Okay. So I have been working on this prim hat, cable hat, beautiful guys. I'm almost done, maybe like one more repeat of the pattern and then I'll start decreasing, but check this out. Verna from Lion Brand, one of my besties there, she gifted me this pattern. And I've been obsessed. This is like the second one I I made. And this yarn is I, I'm not sure if it's Wooly's. Let me see. Let's see if I wrote it down. I hope that's it. Uh, yeah, it's wool spun. I have no clue what's the color, but it's so pretty. My dad told Matanda wanted me to make her a hat and a scarf, which she's gonna pay for. So it's a sold product. And she likes the colors. The good thing is I have enough yarn to like finish this hat and to make her like a cow because she wants a cow to go with it. So yeah, very pretty. And I'm gonna show you the yarn, what was left of the first ball. This is the first ball. This is all that's left of the first ball. These amazing colors, there you go. These amazing colors. All the colors. So she picked this yarn which she loves. I am using needles. I'm using high highs in the size 13 for the body. And I used the 11 for the brim. So that's going on. This is pretty quick knit. The first hat I made of this, my mom fell in love with it, so I gave it to her, so, yeah. And this project bag is by Handmade by Kathy Napoleon. It's red inside. Owls. Love bears. Owls. Like, seriously, I love bears, owls, monkeys. I mean, bear, owls, monkeys. Okay. Second whip I have, I have it on a simple bag from Ikea, which I'm going to go back to Ikea to get more of these for my projects because I like them. And they were so inexpensive. So in here I have Oops. I poked a hole on my These were supposed to be my mom's socks but I made her a different pair of socks and I had to make these over because I forgot I was doing them toe up at a time. Well, not at a time, but I was doing it toe up. I did the Turkish cast on toe up, which was pretty cool. It's just I didn't knit on on the socks for like a long time, and I kind of forgot like what did I do and all this other stuff. The pattern is by me, so this is a pattern that eventually I have to write it down. And get some testers to knit it. If you guys are interested, let me know. So that'll make me write the pattern and put it on Ravelry. On Ravelry, you guys, I am Lady Crafts a lot 83. I do have a Lady Crafts a lot 83 podcast group, but it doesn't sell good. And uh, I have one pattern there that I created. It's called the Love Potion Hat. It's a lace hat, but for beginners. And yeah. So anyhow, this is Stray Cat's yarn. I don't remember the colorway, but they come in a ball like this. And it's purple, white, and blues. And these are shorty socks, my first shorty socks I bought. And I did the flegal heel on these. And I'm onto the foot, pretty soon close on the toe. And I'm 
gonna show you quick and that's the pattern I'm creating so it's all over the foot I mean all over the leg down to the foot down to the toe so yeah this should be done quick because this is an easy knit and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love it too because it was super easy but I had to do it over because when I did it toe up I didn't remember like how many stitches I had cast on toe up for the Turkish I don't remember you guys I really don't so the memory is not good up in her so that's that and I'm throwing all my whips over there second whip that's in this beautiful bear bag to Alul purchase this from Etsy I don't know if the well is, okay the maker's name is here it's utterly adorable knits look how pretty Care Bears and then in the inside it looks like this super 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 cute oh yeah by the way the socks are knit all the socks I make they're knit on 2.25 2.25 millimeters which is a size one higher higher sharps are normally my faves if not knit picks if not uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. they're mostly knit on higher higher sharps tell you the truth so in here whip I have in here is a flax light by Tinkin Knits. I don't remember if this one is a free pattern. I don't remember. So it's not much, but I started the neck. See, this is a one by one. So pro one knit one, or I mean knit one pro one. All the way around. Usually I do knit to pro too. But it's okay. Um, I did swatch for the sweater. I hate swatching. But I get it. I get it, Verna. I get it, Patricia. I get it. So I swatch, block, wet, and dry. This was the first swatch I made. Which it was too small to count the stitches. And then this was... The other one I did, which I had to start over, and it's nice to see how, because I never swatched before, this is my first time swatching. I mean, I swatched before, but I didn't wet it and blocked it, you know what I mean? I just did a swatch, counted the four inches, and started casting on, but with this one I had to wash it and block it to get gauge I guess so and it's so cute how the stitches just look so perfect I like it and the yarn that I am using is opal paradise opal paradise do, 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 do. with the ball band And this is what the yarn looks like. Those speckles. Because I these are yarn that I have in my stash that I have no clue what I'm gonna use it on. So I gather three of these because my flax light is gonna have some colors. If you know me, you know I like colors. And I am gonna add more colors. See? This will be next and then the last one will be that. And I believe I have one more, I'm not sure. Yeah. So my flex will have color. Because why not? And then I could show you the pattern. That's what it looks like. It's the flex light. And check out the sizes. Zero to six months to four XL. Four extra large. It tells you the yardage you need. Uh, 
It has the chest size, the sleeve size, the hem to underarms, the upper arm, the yardage. Yeah, it gives you all of that right there. And it's super easy to understand because as you can see, I did the flax, the regular. So I am using here, let me use all these. So a US-5, and I have the nitpicks, and I also have Chiago's, which I don't know works, right? But you start it off with a size 2, I believe. Yeah, you start off with a size 2 for the neck, but you do your swatch for the size 5. And it tells you gauge, it tells you if you need notions, all this stuff. So I, I know I haven't gone too far with this, but there's a reason why I am doing the flex light as opposed to why I, what I originally intended to use this for, because it was supposed to be something else. And I had a problem with that, but we're going to talk about that in blather. Okay. Next whip, there's a lot of whips, you guys. Next whip. You know it's for my son because it's in a stewie bag. And if it's not in a stewie bag and it's in a, what you call it? In a Mario bag, project bag, it's for my son. And this bag, I got it from, well, there's no tag and it's a shame. Because it's like one of those circle bags. I love it. It's a drawstring. Oh, boy. Okay, so I am knitting my son socks, two at a time socks, just shorties, which I was shocked that he opted for shorties this time. And I am up to the flegal heel, because I want to try the flegal heel on him. And these are two at a time, just regular vanilla, flegal heel is the only difference. And this is where I'm doing the flegal heel, and then this is the regular knit side. And so far, so good. The yarn I'm using is, and I'm knitting that on 2.25 high higher sharp. Is the Regia, and the color Farb, I believe. So it's Regia in the color Farb. So it's 250 gram balls, and did I mention I like IKEA bags? So these are two at a time. These are good for mindless knitting times, and they go super quick, which I like. And yeah, making my son socks. He loves knitted socks. That makes me happy because he's knit worthy. He he loves his socks. He likes his hats that I make him very loving kid the love of my life by the way so in this project bag that i got at vogue this year yeah sexy see these hearts talk to me baby now this one right here reminds me of someone hmm. me to know you guys too okay in here i have what i call my rainbow socks and I'm knitting them on US 1 high higher sharps, 32 inch. And these are not two at a time, but they're two within the time, I guess. Because as you can see, I started them both. These are for me. These are just regular vanilla socks. I believe I am using, no, I am using Kristen from Boom Vine Yarns, uh, vanilla sock recipe. I'm not sure if it's called that, but I'm using, she has a free pattern for her socks, how she knits her socks, or whatever the case might be. So, I do my socks cuff down, not toe up, because I've done two pairs toe up, but when I cast off on the rib, they become like super tight and no good, because I can't wear them, and it sucks, and I love my knit socks. If there's anything that you ask my friends what narrator likes to knit the most, trust me, socks. So, anywho, so I use her method of the ribbon 
and how long to go for the leg, you know, when to start the heel. This is the Fliegel heel, by the way, and how long to do the foot. But I have smaller feet than she does. I have kid size two and a half, three, and boy sneakers because I can't use girl sneakers. And no, you guys, I've tried them all. They all fit me big. Women's sneakers are huge on my feet. I have tiny feet, okay? And I have French fry toes. So, you already know. So, yeah. And this is a new yarn by Lion Run. I love it. The rainbow, get it? Rainbow, rainbow mouth. I am bisexual for those that don't know. I am bisexual. Yes, I am proud to be bisexual. You love me, I love you. We love each other. I don't care where you're from, who you with, who you're not with. If you're sick, you're not sick. I love you anyways. So, so these are the new Manny Petty. These 50 gram balls of yarn reminds me of the Nip Picks. The Nip Pick socks. Because they're 50 grams too. And this is what, they're, what they look like. So they have the fingerless mitts. And they have the socks. Obviously, I made the socks. But yeah. That's what it is. And this is a 50 gram ball. So obviously, there's two. There's 219 yards, super fine one. These are 75% super wash wool, 25% polyamide. Yeah. And they stretch, obviously, their socks. So, yeah. Here's one. And here's the other one, which I'm going to show you right now. Talk to me, baby. I don't know. I'm just stuck with that song. So I'm going to show you the other one. Now I just got a knit on the foot. On this one. Until you reach the starting of my pinky toe. And then off to closing them toes. So here's the other one as well. I love the colors. And I love colors. Not because I'm bisexual, but I love the colors. Look how pretty... And also same method, Christian's method. The only difference is I have smaller feet, so I have to knit them onto my toes and then start the toe decreases. And yeah, this yarn is super, super nice. You guys, this is just like using knit picks for 50 gram balls. So I'm knitting on these with my home attender, by the way, with my home attender. She's making them as well, but she's using a different color. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm writing something here. The leather. Okay, so it was that. Another project that I am working on is in this bag. But you guys... You guys know that everybody's obsessed with the Techna by, uh, who should buy? Jesus Christ. By, Jesus. Oh, uh, Caitlin, Caitlin Hunter is what it looks like. And yeah, I swatch. I cast on. I really want to make it over again. And this is bottom up, which is my first time. I'm used to doing garments top down. This is bottom up. I was scared. Trust me, I was scared. I'm using my signature needle size 7. Because it's from the bottom up. The yarn I'm using is Cascade. Heritage prints, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, uh, in the jewels color. It looks like this. The only thing is, it's super busy. I'm going to finish it. And I have two other crazy balls of yarn of Cascade that I'm going to add to it. Which are these two. So this one is in the color uh, Frosty Morn.
And then this one is in the color cotton candy. Yeah, I know it's super crazy busy, but I would use it anyways. But I want to get some Cascade Heritage Prince yarn in um, like a solid color. Because technically solid or light speckle would be better. So you can see the lights better. Because it's super busy as you guys can see. It is. It's super busy. You can see it. It's just super busy. And you guys, I have been obsessing with this. I have been knitting this only. Like, yes, I've done work on the rest of the items that I show you guys a bit. But I've been working on this more. Like, I did the swatch in the morning. I washed it. I put it to dry I put it to dry and at night time I check if the swatch was dry counted my stitches met gauge which is a miracle and I couldn't help it I cast on this is two days work two days like the lace pattern in the bottom of the Tecna I thought it would be hard and it really isn't Look my stitch marker. Ice cream. And then look at my duck. I forgot from who I got this from. I got it from my Etsy shop. But I just thought it was so cute. And yeah, so this is my Tecna. Lots of colors coming up on it. I do want to make them make it in a solid color. Because I think the solid color or the semi-tonal colors would be better because you could see it way better and I think that's that's a project that honestly speaking it's a garment that I will use a lot I'm still gonna use this multi-color project because I am I mean those of you who know me knows I like color and uh yeah but I want to make a couple of those in um to call it I want to make a couple of that, of that Tecna's garment in solid colors, semi-solid colors, and like semi-speckles, but not too busy. Because then, you know, it makes sense. It will make sense, baby. It will make so much sense. I'm not a singer. So, yeah. So, now, those of you that know me know that I started shame first then I learned how to knit because I wanted to learn how to knit and crochet just kind of left the horizons and stuff but I have two whips that are crochet and I am so happy with these two whips and they're both new cast ons I call cast items you guys after a lot of things have happened with me and yeah, it's called cast other things. As you can see, I cast on the things. And I have some whips that needs to get done. Like, right, I get it done. Oh, sorry, before I show you my two crochet whips, there's one more project in the bucket. I forgot to tell you guys, it's a knit project. This is the Yarn Cafe Creation Moving to the Country Show by Christy Hewton. And this was on a burn wagon for a while. Let's see if I see a picture of the shawl so I can show you. Here it is. It's a pretty pattern, by the way. And I'm knitting this. It's a different yarn. I can't wait till the shawl is done. So. In its glory, it was smaller, and then I continue hitting on it. And now, this is it. You guys see the? It's all glitter here. Now this black one, I added this black one to it. But in reality, it was all supposed to be this color. 
the, I think the black makes it stand out more. And then these are my... I forgot how you call these knees. I forgot how knees are these. Oh my god. I remember this. Okay. So I keep that show in this bucket. There's the pattern. Let's see if I wrote down. See if I wrote down like, you know, needles and whatnot. You know? This is a very old whip. Like, for real. Very old. And I just recently picked it up because I want it. Okay. Okay, the needles I'm using are the US 6 4mm 32 inch or 40 inch cables. These are the Leaky Leaky Lucky Leaky Needles. The Yarn of Sweet Georgia Glitterati. Sock 63%. Super wash merino wool, 20% silk, 50% nylon, 2% glitter, 420 yards. In the color Stella. Yeah. And I started this whip last year. We're in 2019. Last year, February 13, 2018. So I am like rushing this because I want this off the news. I want to be able to wear this shawl in the winter time or in the fall season so, yep so there goes that. no more knitting whips you guys so now we're going to my two crochet whips and yeah okay so the first one is a newbie because i saw it in lion brand uh it's the lion brand rewind pensacola bag and rewind is a new yarn that they have. And it's the bag right there. And uh, I'm doing good in this pattern. The only difference is that I don't know how to recrochet patterns like that. So I am stuck in one portion of the pattern. But when I go to Lion Brand this Tuesday or Wednesday to see my friends, yes, you guys, I will be seeing you. I will ask for help. So I think I'm going to have to go on a Tuesday so I can ask Arabia for help with that pattern. So the yarn is Rewind or Rewind Tape Yarn from Lion Brand. And this great color. This is also a can't stop, won't stop, gotta have it. It has me. And the color Moto Jacket. And uh, let's see. So it's 70% polyester, 30% because. And I am using crochet hook size K. Which is also a lion brand hook. So I started the base of the bag. Now I supposed to be on to the next part of the bag, which I have no clue what that means. So here's the base of the bag circle. This is very sturdy and stretchy and I said talking too much. So the base of the bag is already done. Show you this side, right? So you don't see that. Yeah, so this is when I do the repeats when I do like two in one stitch and then I count the next ones. And then it's a free pattern by Lion Brand, by the way, if you guys want to make it. Yeah, so I'm stuck here in the next portion of the bag. But this part was super easy for me to make, and I love it. I'm also thinking about getting more of this yarn because this would be perfect to make like one of those beach mats, like single mats for myself, so I could sit on this in the beach. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. So that was pretty good to start knitting. I mean, crocheting. See, I knit too much. That was pretty cool to start crocheting, and then I got stuck. 
And then I got sad. Very sad. But it's okay. Because I started another crochet project. And this is my Mrs. Brown bags. This is the one when she has like extra fabric. She does the whatever bag. And it's very deep. So I started another crochet project. And this is another Lion Brand pattern. It's the open workshop by Lion Brand. I started this June 18. And I love it, you guys. Love it. Love it. I'm using Reggio yarns. And this is the Arnie and Carlos one. The design line by Arnie and Carlos. So that's one ball. So the first color I used is Party. Oh, unless it's a number. So the first yarn, and I'm using crochet hook size G. This one, and I'm also using a G in this one as well. I also have a lion brand hook as well. All the hooks. Now the other, next color that I'm using is this one. Oh yeah, they don't have a color. So they just have a number. And there's another Arnie and Carlos color. True to color, you guys. I'm using natural lighting for my window. And this is the show. This is the first color I used. I love it you guys I love it and then I switch colors right here and I love this color more you can see it is the holy show but I love it love it you imagine a shirt with this or this one that would be so cool yeah, so I am making that. I'm really enjoying that. That is like one of my mindless knitting. Like, I will carry this all the time with my Techno Shaw inside here because, dude, this is like huge. Like huge. So, yeah. So, I've been enjoying that crochet project as well because it's mindless. And I wanted to crochet because I haven't crocheted in so long, so... I started this show and I started the bag. Yeah, I'm throwing stuff of that away. So yeah, I'm checking my notes, you guys, making sure I let you guys know everything. Now we're not gonna start this. So now in this other something knitting bag. Is a see through bottom. I have two swatches. I have first swatch right here for a garment that I'm gonna make because I told you guys I am obsessed with garments. You guys better lay down. And this is Lion Brand LB Collection Cotton Jean Autumn League Pullover. And I swatch for this, which I'm so happy. I forgot what colorway is this because I lost the ball band but it's soft and it's cotton so. and here is my swatch I haven't bind off on it but here is my swatch so nice it's like black gray it reminds me of one of those black and white notebooks and I swatched this on a size US on a six. So I'm thinking about making that one for sure. I haven't bought the yarn, I only bought one to test it out. To do the swatch, see how I like it, and I love it. The drape on that is crazy. Now I did a swatch for another sweater. It's called the Oxygen Sweater. A small swatch 
I don't have to pattern. I just I have to pattern on my iPad, but not there. And Vernug, one of my loves, gave me a little bit of her color made easy. Excuse me. It's another yarn by Lion Breath. And this one is a five. 247 yards and it's an 100% acrylic yarn so that's amazing because you can wash it and this is my swatch this is my swatch you guys so I gotta check if I'm at gauge and these are signature needles size 10 so I did it on this let's see what happens and I'm gonna show you the yarn because it's funny. See? The purple color. Check out that stretch though. But it's not like any other yarn. See it? Super cool. I like it. And this bucket that Verna also bought me. So, I did that. Those two swatches for upcoming garments. Hopefully. So, hopefully so. I know that for this one, I really want to make this one, so I'm going to have to start this one. But in order to start this one, I have to finish my son's black sweater, which I am currently on sleeve. And I'm being a little lazy to cast on those sleeves. Like, I need to stop my shit. I need to stop my shit and get on with the sleeves. So like that, I, you know, things can work. All right, so now I'm going on to Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Gotta Have It. Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Gotta Have It. Because the narrator wanted and she's going to have it. Okay? Whether it's yarn, fabric, fiber, needles, crochet hooks, stitch markers, notions, 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 notions project bags, yarn. It's like heaven to me. So, okay, I know I showed you guys the crochet bag that I'm making with the rewind or re ruin. I believe it's ruin. With the ruin yarn, uh, the tape yarn. Uh, I know I showed you the dark color. Well, the dark color is going to be the base of the bag in the bottom so that when I put my bag down, if it gets dirty or anything, it won't get damage i could wash it but it won't get damaged the second color that's gonna go on it is this current situations color which is like a purpley color so this will be the next color once i'm done with that yarn and then for the straps which is the last portion of the bag on the top because you do the bag bottom up from the base of the bag up to the straps there you go and then this will be the next color so it'll be this and then the dark gray color in the bottom so that's what I'm gonna use for that so and this yarn is super soft super great to do it then I have one more stash in has also I bought the crochet hook the K for it I didn't need to buy it. I just wanted to start the bag right then and there. So, yeah. I didn't need to buy it. Trust me. I have like three or four of those K hooks. Then I got one more yarn, which is the Summer Nights. And this is in the color Passion Fruit. And it looks like that. And it's glittery. Glittery. So yeah, and then these little baggies I always ask them. For Rihanna, I buy it, I want it. Because I want it. And because I also use it for when I keep my my bowl of yarn, I um, put it in there. Okay, you guys. I want to talk about the So Faded. I bought this pattern. This is by Andrea Maori. The So Faded. I cast on for this. The reason why I cast on for the Tinka Knits and I don't continue with my sofade is the instructions in the beginning, like the setup row is fine, but row one, 
confuses the crap out of me. Like, if you guys can help me, because I really want to make this one. I mean, it's a paid for pattern I paid. You know, she's a lovely person. I made the Find Your Fade by her. I love it. It's like one of my go-to patterns. Uh, one of my go-to shawl to wear, not patterns, because I don't think I ever knit that one again, to tell you the truth. But it's my favorite shawl to wear in the winter and the fall season. Like, I've made others, but they were small, and I wouldn't gravitate towards them a lot. But my Find Your Fade is like, now I know I like big shawls. So now I know it's going to take me a while, but I have to knit big shawls because I will use them more. The other small shawls I would not use. So. Anywho, so I cast on for this, which the cast, I can't talk much about the pattern per se. So I won't give details, but I started the pattern, you know, I did my, my swatch and what not. And row one confused me because the way it's written, like, it really confused me. And I wrote to her on Ravelry and she never got back to me. And I know she's doing numerous stuff and she always have a lot of patterns coming out and stuff. So I know she's busy and whatnot, but that confused me. And also, everybody's knitted. So, I don't know if I'm the one, I'm the only one that has the problem with it, you know, but I really want the sweater, like I really do, long sleeves too, like I want full, well not full because I wouldn't want the sleeves up to here, probably up to here, so I want space to knit and stuff, but I really want to make this pattern. <sighs> so yeah, if you guys knit this pattern and you bought the the pattern I am Lady Crafts a lot 83 on Ravelry please write to me I really need help because I want to cast it on again and that's the reason why I started the the flat light sweater by Tin Commits put that back now and uh, yeah I really want to make that so let's see I am on point here, you guys. I'm going, like, down the list, baby. Okay, let's see what else am I going to talk to you. Oh, by the way, you guys, I have been teaching my home attender how to knit. Illuminada is my home attender. She's more like my sister, my best friend. She's mad cool. Her and Adamari. Adamari is my cousin, but she's like my sister, my best friend as well. And uh, I taught my home attender how to knit. So she started off with a dishcloth. She started off by using these these um, waist yarn that Lion Brand had that they have. They always put on the table just so people could like test out the yarn or. I guess try a knitted thing. Go sit down. Now. Sit where I can see you. No, move that way. And you move over. My twins are being brats as normal. So I, so yeah, so Lion Brand was given out in these little boxes. They had some yarn that they were gifting because I guess it's yarn they no longer use or whatever the case might be. Or yarn that people don't practice on I guess well they have too much of it and they wanted to just give it up so me and her we grab a couple and she wanted to learn how to knit so I uh I told her how to knit first and she's been knitting all the swatches well she was she made two shawls since then she's making socks which my rainbow socks I started them with her while she started the other socks. While she started the socks at the same time. Also, she she's up to the foot. So I finished my foot on those. I believe I finished one to the toe. And then the other one, go back on the chair. 
And then the other one, she's up to the toes already. So I got to knit the other foot so I could reach that part of it. So like that, go over there. Put it on the table and go over there. So anywho. So she started knitting the socks. So she's doing good. So therefore, right now, I have to make sure I knit the foot on the other sock. So like that, when I um, when she comes back, because she comes back tomorrow, Monday, I want her to bring her socks so we can start the toe decreases. So that's going to be interesting. She's also started the Flax Life by Tin Can Knits. And uh, she already finished the neck of, on hers. I was going to show you on my phone, but I'm recording on my phone. So yeah. So that's going good, so I'm so happy. She learned how to knit and stuff. Also, I want to show you a favorite snack of mine from Ikea. These are the Munz Bits. It's a small thing that makes a big difference. Roasted and lightly salted almonds. Dude, these are my favorite. They also have the cashews and the mixed ones, which I also like too. So I'm going to get me some of those as well. Those are my favorite. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a snack that Verna brought me from Hawaii. So she brought me the snack from Hawaii. She went to Hawaii on vacation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She's that sweet. She brings everybody something. And original Hawaiian chocolate, dark chocolate, Pumeria Mui Lua. Here. I haven't opened this, you guys, because I wanted to show it to you guys. Because the box will be thrown out. But thank you, Verna, for bringing me chocolates from Hawaii. That is so sweet. So, so sweet. Now I want to open it. We're going to open this. And I open it wrong, as usual. Oh, that is so sweet. So obviously I opened it wrong. And it says, chocolate is aloha. Look how cute, it's like a flower. You guys, I waited too long for this. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm, this is, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. I will be nibbling on this right now. It's so rich in chocolate. I also want to show something that Darren from Lion Brand, he's a worker there. He also went on vacation. And he brought all his close friends. Uh, a paño. He had different colors. He had like. Yeah, I see. My AC is not letting me show you guys. And there you go. He had purple. He had red. And he had green. Normally I would go for the purple. But I just figured that in the red. The colors look rich. And I like this. I like this a lot. A lot. I like this a lot. So, I like this a lot. I do. I like this a lot. Very pretty. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, Verna. As always, knit, the knitting community is the best. People love each other. People do a lot for each other. And... This is one of my favorite families. Uh, okay. So you guys know that this month is Pride Month. It's the Gays Month. It's uh, beautiful colors. I love all the colors. And you guys, as you heard earlier, I am bisexual. But I respect equal. I, re I respect everybody's beliefs, disbeliefs. You know, I respect you guys because everybody got their own opinion on stuff. But everybody's entitled to live their life 
and to be with whom they choose to be. There's a lot of criticism out there and I don't like it because, you know, I like red, purple, and rainbow. And you might not like red, purple, or the rainbow, you know? And because of that, I'm not gonna argue with you because you're entitled to like what you like. I am entitled to like what I like. And it's so funny because I did my nails this month not knowing because I wasn't thinking that it was Pride Month. And check out my nails, you guys. This is marble. This is marble. <laughs> and I went to a festival that they were having in 3rd Avenue where I live. 149 3rd Avenue. It says World Pride 2019, Stonewall 50, Amida Care. And I love the colors, you guys. So I went to the festival with my daughters. And they gave out these World Pride water bottles. Plastic water bottle containers. Uh, they gave out stickers. Pride stickers. Uh, this is in Spanish. They also gave this because it was super hot. So they gave this as well as they gave this one. Like the flag. It's pretty. We took pictures. My kids took pictures with my, my boo. Tum tum. And it was free too. See the kids. And they painted the kids face. That was cute. And then this is me, Mari, and um, Lala. Okay, so if I show it for far, no, because if I knew that, I would do it. But then again, this is what it is. And yeah, we had fun. Uh, the single La Insuperable was singing. It was pretty cool. There's a lot of gay guys, beautiful gay guys at that, too. So. And oh my God, you don't know. I had a blast. I enjoyed myself, but it was so hot. It was too much. And I had long jeans. I had ripped jeans, but they were long. But Jesus, it was hot. I will be podcasting again in two weeks. In two weeks, I will be podcasting. So I could show ya what I've been working on, what I obsessed about. I'm pretty sure it's the Tecna and my crochet projects. But yeah, and I am gonna start my son's sleeves for this black sweater because I have to get that sweater out because I want to make more garments for more set what yeah so I want to say thank you to you guys if you guys stood with me longer to finish watching my episode it is now over I want to say thank you to my subscribers for following me and maintaining you know the position with me and not unsubscribing I want to thank the newcomers, cumbers, the newcomers for watching my podcast and staying with me throughout the podcast. I hope you guys enjoy my podcast. I mean, if there's anything else you guys want to want me to add to the podcast, you let me know. I'm thinking about adding a segment on like the book that I'm reading or uh, a segment on, yes, I'm going to eat these chocolates. Or a segment on, it's so delicious, you guys. Or a segment on what, I, what I'm watching on Netflix that I am in love with. Things like that, because I'm trying to add more things to it. Or maybe I will talk about books separate and about my Netflix account together, but in a separate video. You guys let me know what you think. I know I said I was going to start pro making project bags and make an Etsy shop. But it hasn't been within my will 
to be able to do these things. Eventually, it's it's in my must do. Also, dyeing yarn is also in my must do. But so far, so good, you guys. I hope you enjoy my podcast. And yeah, bye. Sorry about the noise in the background. Those are my twins. I have kids. My son is not with me this weekend. He's with dad. But those are my kids. And kids are going to do what kids do. Yeah. Bye-bye.